It's really just how do I live in other countries and what things are needed for you to live in another country. So I like to tell people, for one, everybody needs like a safety net of, a mon of money. Like, and the question is always, how much money do I need? How much money do I need to save? And to be honest, it just really depends on what type of person you are, what things you like, and what's going to ultimately be, um, or like where are you ultimately going to be living and the cost of living. And you need to know like exactly where you're gonna live, how you're gonna live, and how you're gonna do it. So I'll tell you what I did. So my goal was always enough money to one, get out of situations. So the first one thing we're gonna talk about is things like airfare. What I did was I looked up the most expensive airfare from the States at the time, and I think it was maybe Bali. And I looked at like how, could, how expensive it could be and how far it was. At the time that I looked, it was like literally next day. Like if I had to leave next day, I think it was like $2,000. So I told myself, okay, that's 2,000 added to our tab. After that, I looked up housing. Now, I did look up housing in uh, Bali. I actually looked up housing in London. And if anybody knows, you know that London has a very strong pound. So I looked up an apartment, a shared apartment at the time, and I also looked up a single apartment. Both apartments came out to roughly 750 for the shared, and then it was roughly 1300 for a studio apartment in London. Now after that, I calculated my food. So we did, like roughly I did the max. I rounded it off to 1300, I rounded it off to 1500, and then I did the 2000 for the flight, which brought me right at 3500. For me, I usually cook at home, so I always tack on like an extra $500. So, that brought my total to roughly four grand, right? So that brought me to four grand, which was pretty cool for me. So when I was at four grand, I'm already at four grand, I did expenses, added an extra 500 more for gym, miscellaneous stuff, if I had to go to the doctor for some reason. Um, and I came up to about $4,500 that I needed at all times, right? And then I multiplied that by three. So with all of that, I knew at the time I would still be working $4,000 or so. And I knew also that this was at the highest end of the totem pole. This wasn't living like in Europe and Spain. This wasn't living in Portugal. This was some of the most expensive places that you can actually live. And I said, if I can have this money at all times, I can live in any country as long as I'm still working. So if you ever wanted to live in another country, I roughly think that you need, just only need like a rough estimate of 10 grand as long as you're still working. 10 grand in the bank, and I don't think you'll ever have an issue anytime.